Welcome to another daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. Today, we're going to take a look at the new table experience that you can use in SAP Analytics Cloud. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start building a story and we're going to build an existing table and then we're going to create a new table next to it to see some very easy to recognize differences. So we're going to use a few dimensions and a few measures in the table so that we're actually creating, so to speak, volume. Uh, we're going to show several hundreds of rows. And the first item we're going to see in terms of differences between the current table and the new beta table experience is how smooth the new table is actually scrolling. So we're picking a few measures. And then the last item, we're going to make the changes that instead of the order date hierarchy, we just want to see the flat dimension. So here we have the table that we would like to see. And we're going to configure the volume. So we're going to remove the limit. So here's the table and from the view point of view, you can see you can scroll up and down, but most people wouldn't necessarily say this looks smooth. And you also notice that the header disappears when you actually scroll. So now we're going to make a copy of the table. And then we're going to switch on the new beta experience. And the first thing you will actually notice is that by default, the table uses more space, so to speak, but we come to that, we can configure it. So here we have the table. And if we now scroll, we can see it looks smoother than before. It looks faster specifically than before. And our header doesn't go away. Our header actually stays. So let's go into the edit mode again. So we don't need the original table anymore for the other elements. So we're going to remove it and we're going to make the new table larger. So as you already noticed, the table comes with a little bit of higher row height than by default. But this is something you can configure and you actually have two options. You can either use some of the fury default so for example like you know condensed or you can actually go to a custom setting and you can actually enter the row height so you know as an example when you go to condensed you will see it's getting pretty much the same kind of like look and feel than the old table has but it is something that you can actually choose to which setting you would like So the other setting that you will notice there is, is the option to enable the responsive or flexible column width. So we enabled it and let's reduce the overall width of the table. You still see that the table tries to actually put the content into the columns and actually show all of the content. So if we disable this option, we can then actually create very specific column width down to the pixel. So here, for example, as the column product name, we can actually go in and reduce it and we can see the pixels. And in addition to reducing the width, we also do have the ability to configure a word wrap so that if we want, the product name actually goes beyond just one row. So now the word rep is enabled 
And as you can see, the product names go like two rows, three rows, some of them even four rows. You see on the right hand side, the empty space. So if we now enable the responsive uh, flag, then the table will actually use the space and size the columns accordingly so that all the content is shown. But in our case, the product name is still actually enabled with the word wrap. So now the last item that I want to show, which is specifically to the new beta table experience, is the navigation during linked analysis. So on the left hand side, we have the table. On the right hand side, we quickly create a chart uh, that just shows the revenue by the customer. And then we're going to enable the linked analysis option so that any kind of like selection in the table will filter down the chart. In the new table experience, you actually have the ability to select uh, items and deselect. So simply clicking on the customer name and then going in and actually clicking on it again means I'm selecting the element and then I'm deselecting the element. And you can also use the escape button pretty much to unselect all of them. So this is new as part of the beta table experience. So I hope that this quick introduction into the new beta table will help you and you getting interested into this new table. And I wanna say thank you for watching and listening.